Hi RVers, hi YouTube, RV Lady here. Okay, it's been an interesting few days. Ugh. RV women hang out. I have no idea what to do about that. Um, yeah, I don't know. So until I do know, it's all suspended. Um, you know, once again, I am not going to pay money, real money, to, to do this. Okay, I'll probably cut that out. <laughs> it sounds so mean, but it's not really mean. You know, it's the cheapest I've found is $10 a month. And I um, don't know what that gets me. But, um, okay, what else? I lost my cell phone. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't follow, really, I, I had an iPhone that died on me on the way back from Florida, somewhere in Texas. Okay, it eventually actually exploded. Okay, interesting. It wasn't the battery either. It was the phone. It just kind of didn't really explode as much as it just poofed up like a, I don't know, like a toad. So I bought a phone called a HTC, I think it was a M8 or H8 or something 8. And so I um, ordered another phone. I've done this in, well, the, the last phone that I had that I'm going to tell you about, which is the Galaxy. Um, yeah, I had that phone for eh, four days. Since the RV women hangout thing didn't work out, uh, we decided that we were gonna go to the beach and have dinner in the RV. So I um, started putting stuff away uh, to accommodate the fact that my, my daughter and her husband were coming along and, so, um, and their dog. And so I'm putting stuff away the last time I saw my cell phone, I put it on the floor in the RV, just on the entrance. You know, I'm sure you've all done this like a gazillion times. You don't go in the RV, you just put stuff on the floor so that you can pick it up on your way by when you're actually going in the RV. So that's what I did, put it on the floor. Now, I was taking stuff out and my daughter was headed out here with a big bag of whatever. And I said, you know, don't go in there uh, yet um, because you're not going to see like half the stuff that is on the floor. <laughs> so, which is neither here nor there. The last time I saw the damn phone, it was sitting on the floor in this RV. Um, now, subsequent to that, and I didn't go anyplace other than to the beach. I didn't get out. I mean, I got out of the RV to um, dump the tanks, but I didn't take my phone with me. Okay, so um, when we were at the beach, I took, I was looking for my phone because it's new. And I thought I would see what the video quality was on it. And I decided that I was going to take a... Um, you know, video of the sunset, couldn't find the phone. Didn't look really hard, but I couldn't find the phone. So I just, you know, got out a camera and did it that way. Uh, and then I didn't give it another thought until the next day when I wanted to make a phone call. And I started, you know, looking for my cell phone and I couldn't find it. I um, went through all of the scenarios from Sunday in my brain and understand Sunday was a wretched day for me just wretched and um, I had changed the oil on the generator because I wanted to be able to run the air conditioner and I had exceeded the 50 hours that um, these generators are allowed to have between uh, oil changes I don't know 330 I was finished with that, so I came into the RV to st and started up the generator and let it, you know, warm up and whatnot. And then I, you know, flick the um, thermostat button, thermostat control. There's my thermostat control. And, you know, I just did that. Oh, God, I didn't really want to do that. Um, I just did that. I forgot I was plugged in. 
I did that, which when you put it up on top, the compressor comes on, the air conditioner comes on. Okay, now it didn't come on. And so I thought, okay, not the end of the world. I checked the, um, you know, fuse box thing to see if I'd blown a fuse. I, um, but then I thought, well, that doesn't make any sense because the fan works. So it's not a fuse issue. And then I thought, well, maybe it's the thermostat is, you know, I mean, this is a 90, what is this? 98. Um, so I thought, well, okay, I've never replaced a fuse. Maybe the fuse is bad and it's not letting the air compressor know that it is, you know, a sweltering 97 degrees in the RV. So I checked the fuse, the fuse was fine. So it was too late. I had to start the RV Women Hangout, so I did that, and of course we all know how that went. And so anyway, my blood pressure is up because of the air conditioner. Oh, and in the morning on Sunday, I woke up to the stench of something dripping out of um, either my black tank or my gray tank. And so, what a day. Sunday was a horrible day and now I've lost my phone. Now I have literally gone through every crevice this RV has to offer where that phone could be. Everything. I've even made the assumption that um, it got up, had legs, uh, went underneath the sofa cushions and lodged itself in the compartment that's underneath the um, the sofa cushions here. Okay, it's it's been pretty insane. Um, so now, can't find it. And I know what's gonna happen. I think we all know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna reorder the phone. It's gonna get here. I'm gonna load all of my crap into it yet again. And then it will miraculously show up. Gremlins. Okay. I'm sure that there's more things that I can whine about, but I think that's enough for today. <laughs> oh my God. I don't even think I'm going to show this. It's going to be so edited by the time you guys see it that it won't even be recognizable. Okay. Talk to y'all later. Be well, be brave. Smile.